Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. All right, finally, we are about to finish season six of Red vs. Blue. To be honest with you, I had no idea I was as close as I was to finishing season six. Literally wasn't until I started this episode that I realized there is only a half an hour of high octane, balls to the wall content. I don't know, I was trying to think of something funny to say and I just couldn't, so... High octane, balls to the wall, content. Th yeah, it works. So, um, I didn't realize as well that apparently it was a damn near sin to stop where I stopped the other day because obviously I don't know what's coming up. So, when I stopped, I had so many comments of you guys being like, oh my god, dude, like, I can't believe you just stopped in this episode. Like, the next episode, like, there's a big cliffhanger and a big twist and... It's one of the best episodes. I can't believe you stopped before it. And I'm like, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I didn't know I was about to stop on freaking the best episode ever. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe there's better twists. I have no idea. I don't even know what's about to come up. Literally, the last bit I remember was um, Church and Washington found Epsilon. Oh, well, Washington already knew where he was. But he got Epsilon out. And he was like, yes, this was my AI. And that's where it ended, so... We've got a lot of stuff that I'm sure is about to come up that we're, we're gonna have to see, and I cannot be more excited for it. If I tried! So we're just gonna get straight into it. End of Season 6, hopefully Season 7 and 8, and, you know, all the other seasons that are coming up are just as good as this one, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I've really, really enjoyed Season 6. But yes, without further ado, let's start it. Cannot wait, hope you guys are excited! Let's go. All right, fabulous. Let's go. I imagine this investigation of our program is providing you with the kind of attention that politicians crave so much. How very predictable. What has surprised me most I'm getting better. about mankind during the Great War is not our ability to adapt to the new arenas of conflict, but instead our willingness in victory to so quickly return to the old. Oh, so mysterious. You mean to tell me we've come all this way for this? Your fucking crazy AI Epsilon? Yes. I thought it was gone. But Delta told you memory was the key. At first I thought he meant to remember our first encounter. And when I met Delta the first time, what I told him was, ah! you were encrypted until you could be recovered. Recovery carries risk. The structure ensures that an AI- It cost a lot of money, okay? It's cheaper to recover you than it is to delete you. When they removed Epsilon from me, he was unraveling, casting off all his thoughts. I was sure they deleted him, but it's... It's cheaper to store it than it is to delete it, right? Right. But why are we... How... I don't get it. How is Church having these, like, visions? Is he just getting them off of Epsilon, or... Looking for the I don't know. Thing. What's the point? The message specifically said that memory is the key. Delta was telling me that Epsilon was still alive. And Epsilon is the key? In a way. At the end of the war, things didn't look good for humans. And there were dozens of projects all trying to come up with the magic bullet to win. Right? Project Freelancer was one of them. They had their research with aggressive AI. But they could only get the one, and they needed more to conduct their experiments. So, they got desperate. Yes, yes, we know all this. They created a bunch of offspring. Yes, yes. All AI are based on a human mind. And the director had a theory. He thought, if we can't copy it, we'll just have to do the next best thing. <laughs> They, they split it? Just like a human mind when it's broken. It fragments. It fractures itself to protect itself. They tortured it. Like reverse engineering a multiple personality disorder. They presented Alpha with scenarios... Dude, that's kind of fucked up. Stress and danger. That's so they messed up. Fragment, they harvested those fragments. The Freelancer AI is these hoarded little fragments of purified, compartmentalized emotion. None of them were a full personality. Some were good, like Delta. Delta was Alpha's logic. It needed to protect itself from analyzing what was happening to it, so it segregated that part of its mind. The part that was able right. to understand the horror of what they were doing to it. But when the anger came and threatened to take over, it split that off too. What was that Epsilon? That was Omega. Oh, Omega. Oh, yeah, of course, Omega. Gamma was its deceit. Sigma was its creativity. And Epsilon. Epsilon was its memories. Right. And memories. That's why. Okay, that's why it's. Ugh, he's getting frank, like, like flashes of. Words. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. We're good. <laughs> I'm keeping up. Do everyone a favor and shoot him now. Is that an order? Oh, save your bullets for something worthwhile. 
Oh, he's here. What's up, sir? You're good with the computers, right? Well, I'd like to think so. I mean, there's really all different kinds of skill sets. Like, you have your binary computation, you have uh, bus transport. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If this is command, and these computers have some of those internets installed on them... There's just one internet, sir. And I don't think it's located inside this building. They probably have all the information about everything, right? Like in a spread of base or one of them wrong things. Data sheet? I'm sorry, was that something I was supposed to understand? Was that even English? Come on, man. Come on, let's face it, we all do that. We just we just start throwing in nonsensical words to make ourselves sound smart. Uh Deoxyribonucleic acid. Um Pigeons. Uh car um Sediment rocks. Binary code. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. And you know, like all the mainframes on the reds and the blues. Series of tubes and whatnot. Okay, you're using a lot of terms that don't really make sense. I think you're asking me if these computers store all the data on red and blue armies? Control alt bingo. Probably. <laughs> Control <laughs> alt bingo. Yeah, <laughs> what are you thinking, sir? Simmons, I want you to erase the blues. What, you mean like the blues from our canyon? No, Simmons, all of them. Gone. Erased. As in wiped off the map. Kablooey. Terminate process. Sir, you just blew my mind. That's why he's the alpha. Well, you're not the alpha. But... Bad wording. That fragment became Epsilon. And I was just unlucky enough to have it assigned to me. So you knew. You knew from the beginning what was going on. Mostly. They never told anyone what they did here. I got flashes when they put Epsilon in my head. Memories of what the director did to it. So you would say that you have overwhelming feelings of anger and a need for revenge? More than you know. Just like you're getting now. That's why Epsilon went insane. It was meant to. It was all the horrible experiences that Alpha needed to shed to survive. And that's why it had to be removed from me. Did they know that you had the memories? I never said a word. Good man. I had their suspicions. Do you still have yours? No, Wash. I never had one. I was in the implant group behind you, remember? And after what happened to you, nobody got any more. I would never let them put another AI in my head. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to hide what I knew from another program. Which, ironically, is what led them to think I could be trusted. Well, what do we do with it? We take it, and we get it in the hands of someone who can use all its information. Then they can bring down the person responsible for what was done to Alpha, and to me, and to my friends. They can take down the director. Well, what about the meta? How do we stop him? Is I don't think there's any stopping him. Only the Alpha can do I mean, at this point, forgive me if I'm wrong, maybe he doesn't have all of them, but it looks like if Epsilon is still in that little... I don't, I don't even know what you call that thing that's on the ground. But if he's still in there, then the the only one that the meta doesn't seem to have is Epsilon. All of the others he had. I'm trying to think of how many, like, silhouettes were, like, around him. Or, like, projections or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but he, he seems to have all of them for Epsilon. So, like, if he brought them together, would they just combine in, back into the Alpha? Or is the Alpha still a separate thing? Where they would then all have to go back into it for it to become the alpha. You know, parts of a pie or whatever. You know what I mean? All come together, they make a circle. I'm speaking absolute nonsense, yeah. continuing. Did you find it or not? No. No. After the first attack on command, they moved it. They knew the AI would just convince their freelancers to come looking for it again. So they put it in a place where they didn't think. Yeah, okay, so it, it, it is but still where? hanging around somewhere. Can we be there instead of here? Church, I need you to listen to me. Delta was the logic. He was able to figure out things before anyone else. It's why he left a message for you in a way that he knew only you could find, and in a way that let me see you getting it. What are you saying? I'm saying I know what you are, even if you don't. Why you can seemingly live without a body. What? It's why they stuck you in some useless backwater canyon where no one ever goes. Then why they transferred every person in your outpost to a different base than you. I've been here 14 months. What? Over a year? By yourself? It's why you always agreed with everything Delta said. I think we should simply be happy it is gone. That makes sense to me. Why you didn't feel anything when Omega got inside your head. It was pretty much the same, that's kinda weird. Why you can jump from person to person the way it can. It all adds up then. Omega was the one who inherited that trait. Church, there's no such thing as ghosts. You're one of them. You're an AI. You are the Alpha. <laughs> Uh, 
Deputy Director. Shut up. Ah. Ah. Hurt my brain. The fuck. <laughs> Obviously, I knew something was going to happen because, you know, you guys were like, dude, you stopped the first time and, you know, there's this big twist and all that. So, like, I knew something was going to happen, but it wasn't literally until he was like, I know who you are, even if you don't know who you are. It all clicked that I assumed he was going to say that. Of course, there's still nothing to say that he was the alpha. But, you know, I didn't want to be like, oh, my God, he's the alpha. And then he just turned around and be like, your church. <laughs> just be another joke. Dude, what the fuck, man? It is now clear that your agency and its primary program, Project Freelancer, have abused the trust and freedoms that the Oversight Subcommittee has provided you. Your abuse of the Alpha AI will now become the subject of a criminal investigation. That explains so I'm much. Sorry, but you have seen the end of my patience. Ooh, the chairman's coming for you. Yeah, overwhelming silence. It's understandable. But, right, okay, okay, okay. All right. I get it, all right? I get the fact that, you know, he was put on, like, blood gulch and all that, away from everybody, just seemingly another soldier. You know, it's like hiding in plain sight. You know, you're, you're a criminal. You go to jail, you escape jail, and you go back to the place that they caught you in the first place, hiding in plain sight. It's a tactic. So I assume that they, they've done that. To hide him the best it can. Is it because they've separated like all of his like feelings and stuff, his anger, his, you know, memories, his logic, everything's gone now. So he's just now an empty shell of what he was. Therefore, they, they he's made he's made this entire personality up church. Uh, and that's why he doesn't remember who he is. God Baffling. Is he even going to believe him? <laughs> That's the question. Nope, just overwhelming silence. All right, again, understandable. What are you finding out, Simmons? Looks like all the blue records are here. I just don't have the access I mean, to delete them. Are they going to find out now right with Church? Try hacking the mainframe. This isn't a mainframe system. How about cracking it? Would cracking it work? Griff, shut up. Stop making suggestions when you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if you want help, I don't want help. Maybe you should explain. Just saying, just saying on. random words and hoping that it sounds good. Educated? Okay, fine. This computer is a dedicated interface with a highly developed security protocol. The information we are accessing is stored on a separate database with its own dedicated hardware. That system has its own distinct layer of security. From what I can tell, the two systems verify their identities by trading randomly generated 2056 bit encryption keys. I'm trying to spoof one of those keys right now. So, Griff, I'm all ears. Any suggestions? Oh, yeah. I've seen that before. You should try uploading a virus to the mainframe. Jesus. <laughs> I find viruses that feature a laughing skull tend to work the best. Shut the fuck up and let me work. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, well, there you go. The reaction I expected. You think I'm a computer program. Why is that hard to believe? Uh, how about because uh, I'm a person? That I have been my whole life? That I have memories from when I'm a kid? Are you sure about that? I'm a calculator, dude. AI are programs based on an actual human mind. You're bound to have some residual memories. They're just not yours. Oh, you're so full of shit. And after what you've been through, it's not hard to imagine you wouldn't... Oh, st st give me a break, dude. Okay, <laughs> fine. I guess you being a spirit makes more sense. Fuck yeah, it does. It's way less geeky, asshole. A spirit? Yeah, that's right. A ghost. Boom, motherfucker. <laughs> Boom, motherfucker. <laughs> Good, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Good God. Do you read command? Why isn't anyone answering? What should I say? Who the fuck cares? Just get rid of him. Um, hello. Uh, this is command. Go ahead. Finally! Hey, this is a distress call. We need help down here ASAP. Mayday and all that shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, no yeah, we're... Can call right now. What? Can I take a message? Dude, that's bullshit. <laughs> you guys suck. Is that the message? No, it's not the message, asshole. Tell them... We found what we're looking for, and it's under the sand. 
Send help now. What the hell are you talking about? Who the fuck knows? Understand. Uh, okay. I got it. As soon as they get back... I have no idea what that means, but hey-ho. Love it. Oh shit, gotta go! Was that who I think it was? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I can't remember his name. Fuck. Look, you can resist this all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that I need your help to beat the meta. Why me? Who else, Church? Why not Tex? She's a ghost, like me. Use her. But she's not you. Even if I could find her, even if she's still alive, I don't think I could trust her. Tex is... confusing. The director and counselor always worked so closely with her. She was, like, their favorite. You sound jealous. What's that? <laughs> Daddy didn't love you enough? We were a competitive group. We had to be. But she always had special treatment from our superiors. But for what reason? reason for that. Uh, she is, is she even still alive? I mean, of course she is. I, don't know what she I never saw her die, so of course what? she's still alive. You don't know something? I thought you knew everything. No, Church. I don't know everything. You're not going to get all the answers you want. But what I do know is that the meta and this program are in an enormous danger to everyone. And we just need to do what's expected of us. Do you think you can... Oh, well, that's just not Man, good. We've been found out. Quick, grab Epsilon. I'll lead us out. Keep your head down. Okay, but if this fucking thing sends out any more images, I'm gonna throw in the nearest trash can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all hear it, Caboose. Simmons, did you do that? I don't think so. I hope not. Uh, red guys? Uh... White guys are coming, and they look bad. How could you even tell, goddammit? I mean, apart from them bad. chucking Great. grenades. Closer. They're wearing helmets! Here, I got it! This is every bit of information about the Blues and their soldiers! Can you erase it? I can. But Sarge, maybe we should think about this for a moment. What happens if we delete the Blues? It means they never existed! But did you ever stop to think? What does it mean to be red if there is no Blue? If they never existed, what's the purpose of even having a Red Army if there's no one for us to fight? You understand what I'm gonna have to fight each other. Flip sides of the same. Yep, he doesn't give a shit. Coin. What it means is what it's always meant. We rule, they suck. Don't overanalyze it, you pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Where's Kaboom? Uh, that's what? you told. Where did he go? <gasps> you don't think that deleting him from the computer somehow altered the fabric of reality and removed him hey from. Hey guys, I was just trying to find a bathroom. Church always had me go before a big battle. He hates when I have to go in the middle of one. <laughs> uh, I think anybody would. Did you want to finish your thought, Simmons? No, that's okay. I'm, I'm cool. Come on, dude. Tell us more about the reality bending computer. I'm hanging on your every word. I don't want to talk about it. I mean, in all fairness, you know. We're, we're talking about space and aliens and shit, so. Dear Chairman. Reality bending computer. Damn about your committee and its opinions of my work. Have you forgotten, sir, we were at war? A fight with an alien race for the very survival of our species? I feel I must remind you that it is an undeniable, and may I say a fundamental quality of man. Hey ho. That when faced okay, with extinction, every alternative is preferable. Get that door! I don't know, like permanent torture sounds dreadful. About to die. Simmons is a nerd. Usual. Looks like we've got at least half a dozen squads out there. They know our position, and we're outgunned. So, what's the plan? Well, we work. You've earned this, so hold it up. God damn it! You're not just a stork. Gonna retreat down the hall until you just brought more guards up that way. Now the plan's pretty much to go down swinging. You first. Hey Simmons, can you get back on that computer and change my affiliation from Red to Freelancer? Traitor. Hey, you gotta go with the winner. Um, can you change yeah, that's the true. To something more important like astronaut? Oh, I know. Ooh, an astronaut will be epic. What are you idiots doing? This computer has all of Command's records. It does? Records on everybody? Yeah. You know, theoretically. Oh, they're not. <laughs> oh, great. Sorry, what did that say? <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> Top secret <laughs> conspiracy Top doc. Secret. Hell yeah. Nice, nice. Oh great. Now I'll show you that you're wrong. What an excellent idea. Wrong about Nah, you Why can't been trying to convince me that I'm an AI. Huh? Why would he do that? Because he's transparent? He can take over other people, you know, that kind of stuff. That's because he's a ghost, dude. Thank yeah, you. which is, you know, if he's a ghost, so much why aren't any of the other soldiers turning into ghosts? Okay, fine. Why I just had a fucking this? brain fart there. <laughs> Literally mid-sentence, and I just completely forgot, you know, what I was about to say. 
That makes so much more sense, the fact that he's a ghost, though. And not that he's an AI. Not that I expect any different from these guys, but hey, come on. Come on now. <laughs> what? 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 That's what all my computers do. Oh, oh, uh, uh steal some music for me. Oh, or, uh, uh, talk about politics and bore the shit out of me. That doesn't surprise me at all, the fact that that's what his computer does. Because of the trauma he's been through, he's not going to be able to access most of his functions. He may not even realize his full potential. Not living up to his potential? That means Griff's computer, too. It doesn't matter. We don't need him to believe. Until the next time we encounter the mess. Uh, oh my god, that was loud. Holy shit. Oh, he's going to help us! How wonderful! Oh, he knew! Oh, god, man. So fucking smart. Oh, god damn it. Too good. He's too good. What do you mean, starting to? What is this? The motor pool? Yes. Looks like everyone is outside fighting the meta. Still, be careful. Red, you grab a vehicle. Caboose. Somehow I hate to ask this, but can you drive? Yes. But not an automatic. Only stick. Why can't you drive? We're in a rush. Come back to it later. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what it is. It's. it's, it's... I expect nothing but nonsense coming out of his mouth, but it's just certain things he says, man. It just gets me. I don't expect it, and I don't know why I don't expect it, because he's a fucking idiot, but... Ah, uh, so right. fucking stupid. Caboose, grab that car. Church, put Epsilon in Caboose's Jeep. You guys are going to make a break for it. Take Epsilon and turn him over to the authorities. What was that on the ground? To do with him. You're not coming? No. Church and I are staying. Project Freelancer had one last resort failsafe. A high-powered EMP that can wipe out all the AI in this facility. Now that the meta is here, we have a chance to take them all out at once and put this entire project out of commission. What's an EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse. It wipes out all circuitry and computers it touches. It will destroy the AI. Oh, you mean an EMP? Yeah, I was just about to say. Sounds like he's talking about an EMP. Jesus Imp? Christ. That's not how you say it. That's how most people say it. Yep. No, they don't. I say it that way. It's initials for electromagnetic pulse. That's EMP. Right. Which spells imp. Durr. We don't have time for this. I was gonna say, you were just complaining about Caboose and his no vote. weird There's no vote. It's use of vehicles. Not very democratic. Being wrong isn't a democracy. Church and I will work our way down to the director's lab while the rest of you escape. What if the meta follows us? No chance. There's no way he can pass up all the AI in here. Put Epsilon in the car and let's get moving. I'm leaving. I'm going with them. What? God Gosh, damn it, Church. I hate the freelancers. I hate everything about you guys. This isn't my fight. It's yours. I mean, in all fairness, he's kind of right. I don't care what you say. No, it isn't. If you don't remember They're who you are, then, you know, he's, he's not really going to care. No, you don't believe what I've told you. But you need to ask yourself, what if I'm right? If I am, or if you have any doubts, not finding out will haunt you for the rest of your life. Not just finding out about you, but finding out about everyone close to you as well. It's your choice. What's it going to be? To the director. What's it going to be? God damn it. Um, but I'm just thinking that once he becomes, oh, I'll say once he becomes, if he does in fact then become the AI, the the, the alpha, sorry, then like, is Church going to be gone? Like, is are they two separate beings? You know, like he becomes the alpha and then all of a sudden, you know, he's not this fucking wacky idiot Church anymore. Because technically then Church is just going to die. This is a Ruby situation all over again. Like, and the fact that whenever Ozpin, you know, 
becomes like somebody else's body, like their souls will merge and then eventually just become its own thing. I don't like that, man. I don't like it. I write to inform you that by the authority of this subcommittee, officers have been dispatched to place you under arrest and we expect your full cooperation. Congratulations are in order, I suppose. When they write the new morality protocols for dealing with AI, I'm certain they will name entire sections of the doctrine after you. It seems that you will earn your place in history after all. Dear Director. Oh! Alright, stick to the plan. Just run. Get Epsilon out of here. Turn it over to the authorities the first chance you get. Sarge, shouldn't we help him? He won't stand a chance against that thing. We have our orders, Simmons. We have to think about the mission. Finally, an order I want to follow. Right. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Walsh wants to face him alone? That's his business. Yeah, but he doesn't want to face him alone. It's just that some people won't help him. That's not our business either. I don't even know who these guys are. The EMP goes off. They end on the computer base. You will destroy Epsilon if you're not far enough away. You got it, Mr. Washington. Take care of yourself, guys. I know that's one thing you're good at. God damn it. I hope nothing happens to Washington. He's become, like, my favorite character. Or is it going to be like a massive twist where it turns out he's evil this entire time? There's no way Church is actually just gonna bail though, right? It's gonna be a thing where he's almost getting beat and then Church comes to the rescue. Maybe they all come to the rescue, although I doubt it because some of them are Griff. <laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, hello. Are you somewhere nearby, counselor? Somewhere I can say hello in person? Sorry, Agent Washington, but we were more than prepared for this eventuality. I'm afraid we will not be able to see each other in person today. Well, then you'll excuse me if I don't stop to chat. I'm on a timetable. There's someone else here who would like to speak with you. Well, hello, Agent Washington. Is that the director? The director himself. Ooh. I should be honored. I should be. Yes, I realize it has been a while since we spoke, David. David? You, David. My no, God. you cannot. You gave me my new name. The least you can do is use it. I am certain you have a lot of questions, Wash. Just one. How do I turn off this speaker? Warning. Security breach detected. Oh, Elia. Well, the prodigal son returns. Agent Maine, you've caused quite a few problems for us. You will not be leaving this time. I think I've said that myself about 20 times in the last few weeks. Good luck holding him. You would be surprised what we are capable of, even from this distance. I suggest you work with us if you expect to survive this. I'm sorry. Did something about my actions indicate I expect Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think he's really, I don't think he really cares about his life, if I'm being honest with you. Clearance verified. The failsafe is now online. Awaiting How did you get those codes? You might be surprised what I know, Director. Warning. This is a last resort measure. Activating the failsafe will destroy all electronic equipment in this facility, including this terminal. Please confirm. It was Epson. He inherited the memories, didn't he? I've known about what you did since the moment you implanted him in me. Well then, I am very sorry, Agent Washington. But Project Freelancer no longer has need of your services. Program, disable interior shield. Oh, good God. What? Agent Maine, please kill Agent Washington. No, no. Oh, God, no. Please don't fucking die. Jesus Christ. Agent Washington, I feel this is one recovery beacon you won't be responding to. Kill him, Agent Maine. Wait. Sorry, but I'm just gonna say, is Agent Maine, is he listening? Like, is, is the meta actually listening to him, or is it just killing him because he's currently in the way of him being able to get the rest of the, uh, the AI? I don't know, man. The Alpha is not here. It has been moved far away. Attend to the matter at hand. Agent Maine, what the director is trying to say is we can discuss the Alpha later. What's important is that you prove that you can be trusted again. 
We need to trust you before letting you meet the Alpha. Wouldn't you agree? You know, Meta, why wait? Why don't you meet him right there? Hi there. So he. <laughs> okay, so he went into his body. Oh my god, you know, the fact that, like, just seeing him like that is literally. I've only just clicked the fact that, obviously, when he leaves people's bodies, when he was a ghost, he looks exactly like the AIs when they're chilling on their shoulder or whatever. Oh my god. You're a tad bit slow, my guy. My guy, my guy, I can't even speak. My brain's freaking frazzled right now. Church. Do they know that church, church is just a husk? Stop it. Move. His body fell out. So what? He's gonna need it. It's just an empty Okay, yeah. so they know. Going. Okay, good. Baffling. You can see why you didn't want anyone else in your head. Got some pretty heavy stuff going on in there. I think you need to talk to a professional. <laughs> I just lost my job and we had great mental health coverage. How much time do you need? Whatever you can get me. When the EMP goes off, when it goes off, I'll be fine. It only affects computers, remember? And I am a motherfucking ghost. Oh, good God. What's going on? What's going on? Agent Washington, please. There is time. If you would just secure Agent Lane, we can discuss this situation in a more civilized manner. No, we can't. Our church better not die. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Emp. Oh. Fucking got him. <laughs> Such stupid jokes like that. No throwbacks. <laughs> oh my good god. That's not the end of season. Dear Chairman, I am disappointed by your decision to press charges, but I am not surprised. My only hope is that the courts will see the matters differently than you have. You see, I never had the chance to serve in battle. Nor did fate provide me the opportunity to sacrifice myself for humanity as it did for so many others in the Great War. Someone extremely dear to me was lost very early in my life. My mind has always plagued me with the question, if the choice had been placed in my hands, could I have saved her? The memory of her has haunted me my entire life. And more so in these last few years than I could ever have imagined. But given the events of these past few weeks, I feel confident that had I been given the chance, I would have made those sacrifices myself. Had I only the chance. Ben, I just got word from our new command. They said that thanks to our brave efforts in bringing Project Freelancer to justice, we can have full use of these former bases to continue our training exercises until such time as they need them for more official purposes. Whatever the hell that means. Alright, so they're just chucking you out again. Yeah, but Sarge, what the hell is uh shotgun, by the way? Shotgun fuck the UNSC. I don't know. Never heard of it. Sounds made up. I know that you disagreed with my methods and that others will as well. So they've just pushed them to the side again, I assume. However, I cannot imagine that any court would be able to convict me, no matter how low their opinion of my actions might be. You must understand one basic fact for all this to make sense, my dear chairman. These AI, they all come from somewhere. They are all based on a person. Our Alpha was no exception. Text? And while the law has many penalties, was it based on text? No. Yes. No. No. There are no punishments for no. errors that we inflict on ourselves. So you send your men. They won't find themselves in a fight. They'll only find an old man, an old man tired, but satisfied he did his duty. An old man wear it from a mind more filled with memory. Than it is with hope. Okay. Time to see if this works. Sincerely yours, 
the former director of Project Freelancer, Dr. Leonard Church. So, the AI wasn't based off of text, it was based off of the director. Hence why church is called church, I am assuming. The whole thing, the fact that church was the alpha, my god my hair. The fact that church was the alpha, blew my mind. Oh my god, like I said, I knew there was a twist coming because you guys had mentioned it, but... Yeah, man, I was not expecting church of all people. Like, I've always thought of church as, like, the main blue. And then, obviously, Sarge is, like, the main red. But I was not expecting him, even though I should have, because all the clues were there. The fact that, you know, when uh, Omega took over him and he was just like, hmm, doesn't really feel much different. Of course he doesn't. And fit right at home with you, dude. He was a part of you once upon a time. Honestly, it's hurt. Oh, my God. And I have no idea what Church was about to do at the end there. I think that was Tex's body. Right? And I must... I don't know what that thing was, because it didn't look the same as Epsilon. I don't know if he was going to try and put Epsilon into that body. I don't know. I mean, we're going to be starting Season 7 soon anyway, so I'll get answers, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This, these chunk of episodes have been my favorite so far. Like I said, I've enjoyed all of season six. All of season six has been great. I've loved all of it. Uh, in the fact that, like, I'm like, there's, there's, is there any more twists? Obviously, I don't want to know what twists there are, but like, are there more twists coming along? Because I love anything with a twist. Oh my god! Like, I know I always throw back to Naruto because we all know Naruto is my favorite show. Bam, boom, pow. Uh, but, the, the, spoiler alert for Naruto, by the way, you might want to end this <laughs> episode here if you don't want spoilers for Naruto, but, like, with Itachi, when you find out, like, however many episodes in, then it turns out Itachi, bada bing bada boom, was good the entire time, and the only reason he massacred his entire clan was to save a war with the village, and his mother and father, his father being the leader of the clan, if you didn't know, was like, yeah, cool, we know what you're doing. I don't agree with it, but you're gonna take on all this pain. You're gonna you're gonna get all you, you're gonna kill everyone, minus your brother, and you're gonna take on all that pain, and you're gonna make yourself look like a villain, and then bam, it turns out you're the hero. Twice over, mind you, because he comes back to life and then ends a freaking war. Ascend well, pretty much almost ends a war. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it, yeah, before I get too hyped. But yes, uh, all this build-up was definitely worth it. That twist was incredible. I love that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help massively, and I do massively appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.